Howdy, partner. Did you know they added Aim Labs to Rainbow Six Siege? I bet you didn't. In the most recent update, they did add Aim Labs into Rainbow Six Siege. Let's go over that. And yes, I'm wearing a cowboy hat. So in order to get to the Aim Labs in Rainbow Six Siege, you have to go to the firing range first. So let's go do that. You're going to want to go click play over here. You then want to go to click training and then try shooting range. It's, it's, it's kind of pretty hidden. It's, it's down here. You're going to click on that. And it's going to load you up into the shooting range. So previously, this was added a while ago, almost six, seven months ago now. And it's pretty useful. It's a good training tool. And I highly recommend most people use it. But there is something that a few people miss. In the most recent update, Operation Dread Factor, they added aim labs to the shooting range. And if you want to know why I'm wearing a, this, this cowboy hat, got to go check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Vexian to understand the whole story. So coming over here, you've got this. This is the dummy over there is the target. But over here, we have aim labs. You can customize your settings here. And this is a great way to warm up. Not a lot of people know they've added this. People aren't really you know, using it. They're still warming up in aim labs. They're still doing T hunts. I think this is actually a really good analog to both of those things. I think it's better than aim labs. So better than aim labs. I think it's as good as T hunt. And because it's in Rainbow Six Siege, there's no weird kind of thing where it's like aim labs tries to emulate Rainbow Six Siege. Aim labs does have a Rainbow Six Siege training course, but it's, it's not really that good in my opinion. So this is the next best thing. So you can go to options here, kind of click it. So you've got round duration, target type, dummy. Uh, we want big ball. Um, maximum targets we'll do four we'll do we'll do walk we'll do target distance medium and then infant magazine we want on and then round duration 60 seconds so this is actually pretty in depth we'll do 60 seconds here we'll do big ball and then we'll click apply and then we can shoot again so it'll give you a rundown and then you come here and then you kind of shoot it's uh, it's actually pretty interesting as you can see not the worst way to warm up uh, i picked ash unfortunately uh but it's actually a pretty good analog as i miss all my shots and I think it's uh, really good. I think a lot of people should be using this. Uh, it's it's pretty useful in most cases because like a lot of the targets, like yeah, they're in like weird spots, admittedly. But like this is like essentially what's gonna happen in Siege. Um, as I just whiff all my shots, it's pretty good. Highly would recommend using it, especially if you are a console player. I know console aims like it's not the easiest to warm up because you're on a controller, and it's obviously easier to warm up a mouse and keyboard as I whiff all these shots because I haven't played today. But I highly would recommend doing it. And this is just kind of a little video here because I wanted to really show my love and support for the dev team. They've actually really been killing it in the last few updates. They're the unsung heroes of the game, and this update kind of just proves that this is a really useful feature. Uh, Valorant has stuff like this. CS:GO has custom stuff that does this, and uh, it's really good. Highly recommend it. It's also really good for recoil control. And like I said, because because a lot of like what's happening here is kind of what you would see in the game. It's pretty useful. It's a pretty useful training tool. Some people are crouching, some people are standing, some people are elevated on second floors. Overall, it's pretty good, and I would recommend using it. You can kind of do anything. Uh, you know, hit slash shot. You know, I'm, I'm terrible. Um, but yeah, overall, not bad. Um, accuracy 34. Obviously, I need to work on that. So I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time in the range. So I get my accuracy up to 60 to 70 percent. And I plan to do a full video talking about how to warm up Rainbow Six Siege because obviously I need it, and there's a good chance you need it too. So if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe. And like I said, if you want to know why I'm wearing a cowboy hat, partner, check me out at twitch.tv forward slash Vexion. I stream it every single day, 10 a.m. Eastern to 1 p.m. Eastern. So I appreciate that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.